Good evening, it is 5.30pm on Monday the 16th of September and it is time for today in my bedroom. So how are you? There was not a video yesterday. There was going to be and I just never got around to it. I don't really know what happened and I kept thinking oh, I'll do one this evening, I'll do one soon. And then the evening came around and I was just tired and yeah, I was cooking dinner because I had a couple of kids coming around and before I knew it was midnight and I thought well I can't record one now because you know I was watching wrestling actually but you know that's beside the point so I'm just gonna go from yeah I must have recorded in because I oh I don't flip in no whatever right did I wear makeup yesterday no did I do the challenge yes I believe so no I did a little bit of um shadow to I love you 3000 because it was so sad yes I did it was rainy okay so I did the challenge I was so hacked off yesterday um I drink decaf tea because you know I'm, I'm quite addicted to caffeine and I'm actually allergic to it and I've run out of tea bags so yesterday I was desperate so I thought I'll just have a cup of regular tea. It tasted horrible. I could taste the caffeine in it. It was like, oh, that's disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. So I was quite upset, but I still haven't managed to go in and buy any. I've been out with my friend all day. So I'm quite worn out, actually. I did not have chips. I did not craft. I did about today, which I will show you in a moment. The garden got done. I'm so tired. I've only had like three hours sleep. And I've been out all day, walking all day. I am tired. Zoe's fault. She took me out. But I made a thing and I'm going to show you. Also, I did some other stuff, which I'm going to show you that in a minute. Actually, I'm going to show you now, otherwise I'll forget. So, as you know, I've been dyeing paper coffee and tea dyeing paper um, I've had a go at using stencils and had some good luck with that I made a video which if I remember I put up in the cards I've dyed a load of junk mail I've dyed paper bags envelopes all of this paper which is fantastic so then while watching Wendy's live the other night I thought well I like Tommy River paper I wonder how well that dies well I had a little experiment this is my stack of Tommy River paper if you dye it and then use a heat gun, it dyes pretty evenly, yeah? Because you basically blow the water about. If you dye it and leave it to dry on its own, you get your puddles of tea or coffee or whatever actually staining it. I love this trouble is due to the nature of Tom Ray River paper it takes ages so you've got to have a lot of space where you're quite happy to just let this stuff sit and you know sit look even the Tom Ray River paper dyes all different colors this is the same batch of tea some of it was left in you know longer some of it stuck together so I've got paler on one side and paler on the other it was it's a pain in the ass to dye I won't deny that it really was. Um, I accidentally dyed the cover sheet as well, but hey, what the hell? So I can just stick that down or something, can't I? Or use it for tags or something. So yeah, I mean, that's where the tea bags sat. I did tea and coffee. Um, it just, it makes me laugh about how differently it all comes out. But Tommy River paper, it's hard to get it to soak the water because of the way, I mean, you know, when you watercolor on it, the water sits it's weird it doesn't sort of soak through it's very hard to explain the nature of Tomo River paper and you have to put it in a sheet at a time and make sure it is soaked through and I love that one look at it it's fantastic that one came out really really well that actually had tea bags sat right on top of it that's why it's that color this one I dried on a cooling rack for cakes same with that one and the others I just, you know, then I left some of these to just dry naturally. That one came out quite well as well. So yeah, it due to the nature of the paper, it's a pain in the ass to dye. 
Um, so I will be interested to see how well this holds up as well. I dyed basically the rest of my pack. And um, yeah. I don't know how much is there. Probably only about 20, 30 sheets. But it's it it certainly feels parchmenty, you know? So I've got that and the um, regular paper, which is, you know, that's that's all of that. And then I've got all my um, stencil dyed stuff and all the junk mails. <laughs> so I need to go out shopping and buy um, like some, get some doilies and, and stuff like that. Cause I want doilies to go in here. Okay, for, so yesterday, um, I wasn't in much pain yesterday because I had quite a nice relaxing day. Mood was... So it was there. I had somebody else come and look at the fence. That was my neighbour that I discussed the other day. I'm not sure about him now. Because um, I saw, like, it's him and his stepson that do it. The stepson and the partner live just down the road and it was the partner who said to me oh i'll get my step you know partner stepdad to come up and say it. so i said yeah all right then well they didn't turn up the first night so i went down there on saturday the day of the barbecue and banged on the door pulled the poor boy out the shower <laughs> felt really bad actually so he said oh did nobody come up and i said no so he was like oh, for God's sake. he said i'm really sorry if somebody will be up with you today so i said okay that's fine waited all day they finally turned up at half past seven that night which you know is a bit of course i just put daryl to bed so he thought that was brilliant because it meant he could get up and i was like no it doesn't go to fucking bed while trying to deal with this bloke who's asking me like do you have this do you have that what do you want how do you want it laid out blah 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 then he turns around and he says to me oh i'll come back tomorrow and measure it all tape measure with you do you know what i mean i was like oh, another one you know so i was just like okay okay so I, he said oh you know i advise that you do this and this and this so i was like uh-huh and i said look what time are you coming back tomorrow and i'll make sure my mother's here because you know she's the one paying for it so he said oh yeah it'll be about 11. So i was like okay so i said to my mum could you get here for just before 11 because chap's coming back so she said yeah yeah that's fine so she gets up here for like quarter two. 20 past 11 he finally turns up. This is a measure in. Discussed what we And then he gave me his quote. A thousand pounds. Or thereabouts. So I was like. Oh. And he was like. Is that okay? And I said well no it's not actually. Uh, my mum told me, she went, no, that's really expensive. She said, we were quoted by somebody else who said £120 per man per day, two blokes, two days, possibly three to do it. The only reason we haven't got them to do it is because they can't do it for another six weeks. So he was like, oh. So he sort of stood there and he went, well, I can do it for 800 And I was like, okay. He said, you haven't got enough stuff. We're going to need some more stuff. So I was like, okay, well, what do we need? Oh, I'll get a list up to you. That was yesterday. 20 odd hours ago. Yeah, about 11, 11 o'clock in the morning. It is now 20 to 6 in the evening. And I still haven't had the list of stuff that he thinks we need. I've got panels. I've got... I know I don't have enough panels. And I don't, obviously won't have enough posts. And I'm like, well, that's lovely. But I've already, I've already told my mum if he doesn't turn up today... He can forget it and I will go with the other chap who's £120 a day per, per man and I will wait six weeks. I've already waited two months. What's another fucking six weeks? I'm not impressed. Um, I did end up stripping the beds because Callie gave me a bed set that she had and it's really nice. It's got owls on it. So, yes, I stripped the beds. Look! There's a Daryl. What are you waving? It's a... I don't even want to know. That's tonight. I'll get a drink in a minute. That's tonight. That was my spread for the wrestling. I've still got two matches to... I bailed. I've got two matches left. I've got to watch Roman Reigns versus Eric Rowan. 
and Seth Rollins versus Braun Strowman. The rest of them I have seen and it was brilliant. So yeah, I need to go back and watch those, but I'm just waiting for him to go to bed because he's, he's like, oh, I don't want to watch it. So I'm like, oh, okay. So I did the work because I the scores yesterday. Clash of Champions was on. Sage, darling, I am so sorry I didn't post yesterday and I wanted to, especially just to say to you, happy birthday and you look brilliant in your WWE belt superstar in the making sweetheart i hope you had a fantastic day and i hope you enjoy clash of champions don't tell me what happened yet because i haven't seen them all okay mum is holding on to the list because uh, not that i've won because i've got them all wrong so far but one day i'm coming for your title all right i hope you had a good day sweetheart okay now i don't want to turn the page because i don't want to show you guys what i've done but i put it this was from the barbecue <laughs> i made a collage up of, of these yeah uh, 12 12 pictures <laughs> so do you want to a look that's my second son matthew you guys don't tend to see him he's he's the chef he's the one that basically works all the hours god sends him with kyle uh, him and daryl <laughs> daryl and carl just they look so much alike so i got quite a few pictures of matthew with daryl because i don't get that many pictures of matt and daryl together so that's quite nice that's my eldest son carl that's robert kelly's partner daryl there matt and daryl having a hug that's the three boys together alex didn't come i was told he was working that's fair enough uh carl and daryl uh, it looks like daryl's got like a piece of dark tape over everything it's just a shadow um he's a fluffy puppy uh kelly and her boyfriend and then there was this that's Callie taking a photo of the boys from the other side, which is it was good, just good fun. So, and then I put a vellum, do you know, I spent 20 minutes trying to get the backing off of this because I thought it was a sticker. And then I actually read the packaging and it's not, it's just, just a quote on a piece of vellum. So I, I glued it down. So yeah, we had a really, really nice day. And then yesterday I did everything that I needed to do. So, swap the pens. And let's go back to the beginning today it is the 16th it is the 16th good 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 oh i also actually i did craft yesterday because you know what i did if i can find it i started making my postcards that i'm gonna send out on post crossings uh, these are all photographs that i took so this is one of the local swans oh this is a i've taken about three of these this is um, up on the cliff and it's a restaurant with the monument beside, and I did it in black and white because I just thought it was so gorgeous. And that is the row of houses actually opposite that and they are right on the edge of the cliff as you can see. It's very, very cold up there. That ended up being quite a mini one. So yeah, I did a, I did a couple of the, just because I thought, oh my God, they are so gorgeous. This is an old train station. It's no longer train tracks. It's the old steam railway and the platform's still there. Um, and the sign is still there, but it's obviously it's no longer in use. It's a cycle track now. Um, that's the pier down the road from me. That's Fountain when Callie and I went out to Fountain World. Literally the first time we took the cameras out. That is the beach. Right. That cliff there is... Hang on. Well, yeah. Is, is, is that cliff okay that wasn't taken from here that was actually taken from about where that white building is there so yeah that that is that cliff and then you sort of see the back of the houses and then the houses face the 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 pub so yeah and then that is looking the other way so this is sandown and this is shanklin I haven't backed this one yet, so I need to get some more card. And all I've done is I, I did try stamping directly onto the back of the photo, but it was quite flimsy, and I thought I'd be a bit uh, about sending that through the post. So um, I've backed them all with card, most of it's yellow card, because I couldn't find my white card. And um, yeah, I'm going to send these off. So there we go. So I did craft, so I can actually write on here, yes, you did craft, because you made postcards. Right, today I wore day face cream and makeup. I'm 
absolutely starving. I haven't eaten all day. I've had like a little slice of cake and that's it. I haven't done the challenges. I haven't uh, I won't do the rest of that yet because it's a, it's only like 5.45 so there won't be an evening edition quite frankly because I'm too freaking tired. I'm going to put Daryl's bed in an, about an hour and then I'm just going to veg out. I am going to fill this part in because I've had yet another awesome day thanks to my friend Zoe but my pain is up <laughs> because I walked loads and didn't sit down at all I've been I was on my feet all day so yeah I'm in quite a lot of agony my legs are twitching like fucking nobody's business under the table I, I've got a feeling I am going to need medication tonight and I'm running on three hours sleep so that lagged a bit then I'm hoping that doesn't freeze I'm only down to 40% for some reason hmm, okay right um, yeah I went to sleep at six minutes past three <laughs> and I was awake at half past six but I slept well because I was exhausted when I went to bed but yeah, my, my knees are starting to um, ache. So I think I am going to need to take a pill tonight. So yeah, my pain's up. Okie dokie. Yeah, let's do that. Today is Monday. I have done the loo. Taking care of some laundry. And that's pretty much it because I've been out all day long. Can't do that, can't do that. I'm assuming my loan went out today. I went out with Zoe and it's Pirate Week on Fitbit. So what did I do? Well, we went out, Zoe and I, and we took loads of photos of squirrels. She took me to the squirrel hide, which is like a, a bird watcher hide. But it, well, it's it's for both. It's for watching the birds and the squirrels. They're, oh, it's gorgeous. It's in the middle of this bit of woodland. There is a river that runs right in front of it. So you get ducks. You get kingfishers. We didn't see the kingfisher today, which I was a bit gutted about. You get loads of little birds, finches and tits and robins and all that lot. And you get squirrels. So in the hide, um, there was a few information leaflets. So I picked a few up, which is what this is sticking out of. And I made a pocket. Look at my pocket. And I took these two photos. So this is Dusky. That's her name. Um, she is a red squirrel. We only have red squirrels here on the Isle of Wight. And I do believe it's treason if you are caught bringing a grey over because the greys are bigger and they prey on the reds. And that's why there aren't red squirrels in an awful lot of places because the greys have wiped them out. Um, she looks grey in that, but she's not. She's actually so, so dark. She's almost black, but she is a red. And um, yeah, we saw her and a couple of her kittens today as well. Those little kits running about. Oh, they were so cute. It's so hot. I've got so many squirrel, uh, so many pictures of squirrels' bums running away. Yeah so it, it was so hard to get a really good shot but I've got here um, some info about um, the nature uh, conservation in looking after these squirrels and all the birds that live out there as well and just like you know what they do like when they chop a log tree down because it's broken it gets hauled to one side and it gets left there so that all the bugs and or, you know all that lot can can live off it and, and all of that and then there's a like a map in there of how to get to the hide and a couple of other little bits and bobs. I also received a post crossings postcard um, from a young man in Russia, or a young lady in Russia, sorry. Um, yeah, so that's what I've done today, but oh, look, she's so pretty, so, so pretty. You know, and if you're a regular up there, they, you know, the birds will come and sit and feed out of your hand. I did try, but um, he'd already had enough to eat by this point. There's one that comes down, um, Zoe's his feeder and his name is George and she goes down every week and she she feeds him and he will go to her hand but by the time she sort of said to me do you want to go he'd had quite a lot to eat and he wasn't wasn't going to play getting get any he wasn't going to play with me so I was like oh feed the birdies and she has fed the squirrels out of her hands before as well and it's just like 
I want to do that. But we've got to wait until winter when they're a little bit more hungry and inclined to come. But today we saw a lot of um, food burying going on. So they, they're getting ready. It's, it's not far to go. But yeah, I thought that was really good. I made this pocket. Aren't you impressed? There's my little cam stamp. This is a stamp that I got. I love this stamp set. Um, it's for, is it Kelly Creates, I think. I, don't, I saw it on somebody else's channel and yeah Kelly Winnell stamps okay and it's called the Lara Alpha and I just love it because it's so dinky and it fits in so many places and I just I stamped that out today so I've cut pieces of myself so let's get on with it Twenty-one over twelve today. Like I said, it has been hot. Sunrise was oh six forty-one. Sunset was oh yeah, it's about seventeen minutes past seven. The word is cloudy. Hmm, well, that's appropriate because it is quite cloudy now. I want to try and stick it in there. Let's see if I can. Let's play letter and chicken, guys, shall we? There we go. Cloudy. Um, I won't write a word in because I've stamped one. I'm going to leave that as my um, about today. So, yeah. Um... I think that's pretty much it, isn't it? I can't think of anything else. I'm so, so tired. Right, I'm going to leave that here. Um, it's half hour footage. Probably about 10 minutes by the time I've compressed it down. <laughs> there won't be an evening edition, but I will be back tomorrow. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, please feel free to give me a thumbs up. Comments down below, kisses down below, all of that. Come on, comments and kisses. Daryl loves his kisses. Uh, if you click the book here in the corner you will be subscribed and then the bell that appears down below if you click that you it'll make ding noises no you'll be notified when i upload new content providing youtube's in a good mood um thank you so so much for joining me today i really really appreciate it you know that i love each and every one of you so 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 much um and yeah that's it i will see you in tuesday's edition of today my bujo take it easy guys <laughs>